Greetings people, this is MPAV from MX Linux and I'm bringing you today a very quick video explaining my MX Base ISOs. What we're looking at here is we're looking at MX Base Flexbox 32-bit running in a virtual machine. And I want to show you just one of the quirks about it first and foremost, and that is the desktop has no installer. Uh, this is uh, part of iDesk. Um, it's just the way that iDesk works. For some reason or otherwise, it doesn't bring up all the contents of the desktop folder. So I've just gone ahead and opened up Thuna using this little icon here. And uh, we see the installers here. And it's just to show you what I mean, I'm going to go ahead and create an empty document. Boom, uh, there's nothing there. So let's just go and prove that. I'll move this down to the side. I'll click in here, out of sight, and I will kill iDesk. There we go, it all disappears. The, uh, the conky comes back. Right click, out of sight, and I will toggle iDesk again, and uh, no change. It only put, brings up whatever it's configured to bring up. So look, that's not a biggie. We can work around that easily enough just by clicking the installer icon, and off we go. The installer starts up and is ready to go. I'm just going to go and close it for now, though, because I want to show you very briefly what the essence of, uh, of an MX base is. So we're going to go ahead and open the Xface Whisker menu. And I've made it a little bit bigger so you can see a bit more of the content. So what what does what do we offer? Well, if we go to MX Tools, um, all the tools are there. There's nothing missing out of the entire MX Tool bit, uh, tool, uh, toolbox, I should say. Um, but if we look at the things like the graphics, we have a graphics viewer called Nomex. Uh, same as our regular MX under internet. We have Firefox. Notice there's no email or anything like that. Look, we can't bring you a an ISO without some way to browse the web. Therefore, it comes with our standard Firefox. Under multimedia, you notice there's next to nothing there. We've got the Ulsa Mixer. We've got the Pulse Audio Volume Control and XF Burn for burning and working with CDs. And of course, under Office, we have only a few items, the Arage Calendar and the Arage Global Time. Now they're there because XFCE uses them in the, in the menu toolbar. So um, with, if, if we take those out, then of course we're missing one of the elements which I aim to keep, which is 100% of the goodness of MX Linux. Uh, the QB, QB, start that again, the QPDF view is only there to show you, um, or to give you access to read simple documents. So that's in a nutshell. Okay, um, that was a quick, very, very quick method on how to get X, Xbox, uh, get this Flexbox uh, installed, um, given that there's no desktop icon, but I will show you one other way, just in case. You can go ahead and press F4 to bring up, wrong one, sorry, press F4 again, um, F2, sorry, to bring up Rofi under DRUN, and um, the MX installer is called mInstall dosh pkexec so we can either go ahead and type that in here or we can click on run and we can search it from there so i'm going to type m install m i n s t there it is m install pkexec yeah go ahead and double click that and it will run just like that so there's more than one way to uh, to to get this thing operational and um, installation is fully possible and it will go ahead and install to your hard drive. Okay, very briefly, let's have a look also at the a release announcement on the MX blog. And here it is here, the base edition personal respin. Available in 32-bit Xface, XFCE and Fluxbox, and 64-bit XFCE only. Um, they've been designed to contain all the goodness, the full goodness of MX Linux system, without the accompanying desktop productivity apps, games, etc. normally found on the regular ISO. Okay, how have I used this in the past? Well, I've been making the, I've been making my own versions of this for many, many years, dating way back to 2005, of course, before the days of MX. But here's, uh, in the last five years, this is what I've used. Personal Samba file and print server. I've had him as a VirtualBox host, surveillance system host. I had four cameras feeding into an MX system, and uh, they were running on um, motion detection, and they worked very, very well for the time I had them. Personal web server. I don't do a lot of web development, but I have played with that a little bit. Clean development platform host, mate. Can't say enough how how important this is. This is, I think, is probably my uh, number two, and this will be uh, my number one use for it. However, in the past, I've also had remote desktop host where uh, I didn't want all my machines in my business or home being network facing, uh, web facing. So I had one host whereby I logged into the host, uh, was hardened down, and then from there I could access machines inside my local network. Last but not least, wireless DHCP and NAT router, or in other words, a personal hotspot, uh, my server, which is a 
um, my server machine, personal Samba and file print server, all, also has this, where uh, when I plug in the USB stick, it becomes a personal hotspot so that uh, I can take customers' machines and connect them into the, my personal hotspot as opposed to my household wireless, and uh, we're all good to go. Okay, so this reflects what we've had before. Here's the here's the um, the location of the files on SourceForge, and uh, last but not least, we go to the forum. And we'll have a look at the uh, at the same post on the forum. The difference with the post on the forum is that uh, it says here what I've already told you: um, no one issues. Uh, the Fluxbox ISO opens the Fluxbox desktop, but the installer does not show. Um, and it tells you how to do that. I've just shown you how to do that. But here's the key: if you want to be able to verify the signature of the of the ISOs I've put up online for you, you need to do this. So just take this little piece here, highlight it. Press F4 and um, I'll just get rid of all of that. Oh, hang on, my keyboard's not working for some reason. Backspace that. I deleted it so you can see what happens. Okay, so center click. So I did a highlight, center click with my mouse, press enter, or reach out to the key server and import my public key. There we go. Easy peasy. And from there we can we can verify by right clicking the signature in Thuna. Um, I'm not sure if the custom actions are going to work in here, but uh, if I right-click the uh, the signature files, hopefully it'll give me an option to check the ISO. I know it will do in XFCE. I haven't tried that in Fluxbox. Okay, um, this is uh, all I really want to show you. This is MPAV out. Look, please head to the forums, um, the Facebook site or whatever, and uh, ask your questions there. And please also show us what you do with uh, with these ISOs. This is MPAV out.